Hi everyone, it's Melissa here with Friendly Crochet Creations and what I have for you right now is our Rug Cow November 2020 section. As you can see there's a lot of browns here. There's two different shades of browns and then there's a light blue and you know what? I don't have the name of this one for you but hopefully I will get that for you sometime and add it to the description down below. But what I did here, um, if you remember last month in October I had drawn... Um, up the sketches for pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns on graph paper so if you want to refer back to that video I would suggest that but right now just looking at it really you can't tell it and really I had to th think about what I did on here because I didn't have any notes on this one so what I did I did the pumpkin like I was trying to tell you last October I finally remember what I did and here's the stem for the first one and I did two right this one's a solid and this one here is an open stem. Can you see the square right here? It's an open stem. There's open spaces up here. We have open spaces down here. But you know, we have all this open right here for the pumpkin. But I felt like I was using too much yarn on this one for the stem. I thought maybe it might look better open. So I did an open here, right? I see that. And then I have the outline of the pumpkin. Maybe I can trace it with you here. I lost it. No, it goes here and it goes back up, you know, like pumpkins do, and back around up to the top. There's that. And I did have this much left. So I might have could have, you know, filled in those six little spaces, you know. How many of that would there have been? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, doo -doo -doo, you know. No, it's nine. Nine times two, eighteen. So eighteen stitches maybe with that. Yeah, I probably could have done nine, eighteen more, um, double crochets there but like I was saying um I was really running low on yarn so I didn't want to chance it you know playing yarn chicken so anyways um if you can see above this stem here we have one two three rows of empty spaces the fillets and of course I left the pumpkin um empty and that pumpkin empty well, I could have seen it better if I hadn't done all these empties, but you know, we would have used a lot, a lot of yarn to do that. So I'm going to trace it here with you on this one. It goes pretty close to the edge. There's two spaces here on the edge. How many are over here? There's two spaces on the edge over here. And I did use 90, but as I mentioned last month, um, this one is much bigger than our big sections, but it really doesn't matter. This is, this is the last section, except for December. So I do have December's yarn picked out. I just don't have the pattern picked out yet. So I'll hopefully to get that soon. What I did, um, they have a bunch of Super Saver Jumbos there for the last couple of months. And they have new colors out there. Like, um, there's one really pretty one. It's like a party color. And then there's the fruity stripes ones, uh, or the stripes ones, the bright stripes, fruity stripes, you know, that sort of thing. So they did those as jumbos too. So I got the red, white, and green one, like the mistletoe, I think it's called, for Christmas. Not red, white, and green is for Christmas. So, um, and even has a darker green, like lighter green, like some people use. But it does have the red, white, and like the forest green, or evergreen, whatever dark green you want to call that. And, um... So I'll use that for that. I don't have the pattern yet picked out for it. But also if you want to refer back to the last video, I'll also tell you the book that I got this pattern out of. Like I used the apple, right? But I modified it. Um, and I, I drew it on graph paper. But I did use the apple pattern in that particular book. I have misplaced my book, unfortunately. So I will get that information back to you. But in the meantime, you can check, like I said, October's video and find out all that information, okay? And I did not post it in the description what I used, so you'll have to watch it and listen. And I show you the book and the pages and my drawings, you know, that I did on graph paper. So, um, refer to that because graph paper is really excellent for filet crochet, okay? You can do almost anything if you can do that, alright? So, um... Y'all have a wonderful day, and I will get this color to you as soon as I can. And y'all have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving coming up. Um, 
I hope you enjoy you enjoy your holidays. Um, I don't know if you'll watch this before Thanksgiving or after or whatever. You know, um, some of y'all will have the holidays off so you can catch up then. But um, I need to catch up with myself. And I've already posted um, two videos for giveaways for three different giveaways. So if you want to refer back to the previous two, um, if you... Um, see this before Thanksgiving, you know, the, you, that's the deadline pretty much on the 29th, I believe, two weeks from today, so two weeks from yesterday would have been the 28th, so the 29th, I think, would be, yeah, 15 and, and 24 is 29, so yeah, the, the 29th, I forget what day right now the Thanksgiving is on, it's usually around the 27th sometime, um, so the 29th is the deadline for those two previous giveaways, but um, I hope you like this video and what I did with it and the colors. Um, I wouldn't normally use this color for November and it's not icy out here, but some of you have already had rain, I mean snow and ice and sleet and all that. So, you know, it's a little frosty for some of y'all in November, so that might... Um, that might be common for you right now, you know, the, the, um, the trees with the, with the, with the frost, you know, and all that, all the browns and the frost, you know, eh, yeah. frozen water reminds me of blue too, so, there's a word I'm thinking of that I'm skipping over and I can't think of it right now, so, <clears throat> anyways, this might appeal to you more than it does to me, but I had it you know, in my, in my stash, so that's what I used, and, um, I hope it works out great, being, being this large, if not, I'll have to do something else for November, and put this one for something else, but, um, I do plan to use this in my, in my rug for 2020, that's why it's here, so, um, anyways, I wish y'all luck, and happy holidays, and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, okay, y'all have a great holidays, bye!